Hey guys, welcome to Digimon World. In order to play Digimon World Next Order, I am going to show you what to do and how to play it. This game, this original, is basically the template for the PS4 version coming out. It all started with this one title, in terms of the World Series. The Digimon World Series. This is where it all began. Let's see if my controls work. And they don't. Yeah, now I have them. New game, start. Hmm. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the first cutscene in. And then I'll make another video for my old save file. Which, let's face it, I mean, they're both the same file, practically. I don't have any progress made. But I will. Yes, do we have a Digivice? I see. Next question. Which do you like better, day or night? Day. What's your name? Uh, let's see. Well, I do want to call myself Action Gamer, because that's kind of the name I'm running with now. You know, I'm just going to put in my actual name. Where are we? Okay. I'm using a stick. I can't believe I can move a, a PS1 game with a stick. Oh, oh boy. I made a mistake. Back. Let's try again. There we go. Yep. That's all the questions he has. Alright, let's see. Let's observe the cutscene so that I may get down to explaining how this works. You know, this is one of those games where it doesn't have voice acting, really, just in the first cutscene and maybe the final one. They could probably get, um, have gotten away with this today, or who knows. I mean, I personally don't feel Digimon in this game that the lack of voice acting impacts the performance of the game. I think it's, I think I like it where it is. Although I do love hearing Mona Marshall in the Digimon franchise.
Um, heads up, I'm probably going to use Agumon if I end up getting a Gabumon, because I, I don't want to work with Gabumon. I prefer to go to Metal Greymon. Oh, never mind, it's Agumon. Okay, the Digimon that's chosen for me. He right. Well, I'm not going to read this. I'm going to let you guys do it. They all forgot <laughs> that they live there. Uh, do these Digimon have Alzheimer's? Oh, uh, and that's not meant to be a uh, wisecrack at the expense of old people. I like old people. I like how he just walked through him. Okay, I'm going to explain a few things. First, I want to check the quality of my video. Well, actually, you know what? I guess I can talk a little bit. To the Digimon and to the viewers here. Surroundings of the city. Native forest surrounds the city. The Digimon there aren't very strong. The training camp on the west side. Which is left in this case. Le like, exactly where the character is facing in his direction. Uh, tropical jungle is on the east side, which would be to the right. There's a mountain and lake on the west side, and it's a dead end. If you keep going south, there's an ocean. There's a high mountain in the north. So if west is to the left in this case, and east is to the right, then south must be... Because I'm trying to think. Oh, hold on. Let me read the text. To myself, anyway. Let's see what's down here. Probably nothing. And there's really nobody here. It's just Sunamon. Yeah, so anyway, part of Digimon World is not just building a city. It's to feed your Digimon, let it grow. It's to basically enhance your Digimon stamina and other forms of stats. The primary mission in this game is to get Digimon huddled together and rebuild a, a city, as Digimon explained. Shops that are useful. You should just explore in a forest just outside the city. Items. Okay, so look up the item menu by pressing the triangle button and select an item by pressing X. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk to this little critter. 
Now, you, it's recommended that you use this after training your Digimon. I'm going to explain that in a moment when I go to the gym. Is there anyone in here? Oh wait, we can't do that. We can't go there. Now... Okay. Let's talk to Coralmon and we'll learn a little bit about the gym. Digimon can boost their abilities. And they can also boost in battle, but not by very much. And now it's time to feed Agumon. Honestly, I am going to show you guys something. I'm going to discuss this a little bit while Agumon is training. What I am hoping for is to get Greymon, but the requirements are a little heavy. And I do mean that a little bit literally. You see, Digimon Digivolve based on weight. Ugh, I'm not going to listen to that for... ever. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the menu, I'm going to look at his stats, and I'm going to show you guys. Agumon's, Agumon's Digivolution, just like every other Digimon, is measured by a certain amount of HP, MP, offense, defense, speed, brains, along with the happiness and discipline meter. There are certain stat requirements that you have to measure up to in order to get a certain evolution the way you want it. And back in the day, this was hard for me. So what I did was I looked up game facts to sort of not know how to get through the story, but rather to get access to the way the game's mechanics work. Because if you try to do this on your own, truly, it's not that much fun. You don't get the Digimon you want. You could probably end up getting a ter like a downgrade, like Numamon or Sukamon. Uh, it takes a lot of skill and a lot of uh, concentration and, I guess, a really good memory to remember what it is you're going after in terms of an evolution. So, we're not bad with Agumon. We are going to increase his HP and MP to 1,000. Oh, and one thing I've learned during my time playing this game, you want to train Agumon a certain number of times. Like, let's use six before he has to rest and you have to go to that red Digimon on the, ca on the chair, sofa, to take a break. Let's see, we counted two. Three. Oh, and we gotta go use the restroom. Yeah, that's a thing. So, what I'm not going to do is show you guys how to train the Digimon, because sometimes I tend to slip up, and there's no guarantee that Agumon will evolve into Greymon, because that's the Digimon I'm after, so I can go pick on, I don't know, the little ones and fight them and get them to join my cause. So, what I'm going to do is stop here, and let me see, I counted three times, so I can go three more in the gym. I guess all I can do now is just keep leveling up, try to get Agumon's HP and MP and all those other stat boosts up a little bit. And there's a certain requirement for Greymon. The care mistakes, which by the way are when you allow your Digimon to go to the bathroom outside the toilet, that's a mistake. Um, the body weight has to be 30 grams, which means you can't feed Agumon too much food. Oh, I mean, you can in this case, but not over 30. Um, the care mistakes have to be between 0 and 1. The offensive power, the defensive power, the speed, and the brains all have to be 100. And your discipline gauge, your uh, the little gauge at the bottom right corner with the smile and the glasses. That's actually one of the most important areas of the Digivolution mechanic. What you really need to do is get that happiness all the way to the end when it's blue. I mean, you need to make sure that it fills up correctly with the correct color. You see, if you fill it up with pink, you're, that means you're in, in the red, the, the negative area, and you don't want to do that. 
What you really want to do is try to increase happiness and discipline to get it completely blue or as much as you reasonably can. Oh, and there's also a little virus gauge. That virus gauge represents your Digimon using the bathroom outside of the toilet. If you fill that up, you'll end up with a very, um, terrible Digivolution. You'll probably get Numamon or Sukumon. Oh, but, um, what they do in this game is a different story for a different day. So what I'm going to do now is train Agumon and see if I can involve him to Greymon. If not, I'll have to make the best with the Digimon I've got. Okay, see you guys next time.